Hey guys, it's Ed with CMC Reptiles. Wanted to do a video kind of updating uh, my breeding plans for this year and also talk about a little bit about me kind of transitioning over to from the reptile prime bedding to paper. As much as I love the reptile prime bedding, I the paper's working out much better for me and um, I'm almost completely switched everything over and I think one one thing that's going to work out really well by using this paper is during breeding when I'm pairing the males with the females I mean you all know how the females do a lot of smearing um, when you have a male in there and it's just going to be it's really hard to clean when you're on uh, uh, some type of substrate but on the paper I just pull it out spray it put a new one down and I think that might help the females and males stay on food as long as possible. Um, the males I normally will spray down a bit, but it's, here we go, we got a, we got a shed there. That was my Super Mojave. I got plans for her this year, but again, they shed well on it. Um, holds humidity pretty nice. Uh, yeah, that's an empty, empty rack. Here it is, my pastel super stripe, but it's so much cleaner and easier and just it's for spot cleaning, it is just way faster. I mean, just so much faster. Plus, I'll be saving a ton of money by using this. But works out really well for me. Um, Again, I'm probably about 95% switched over to the paper. Um, and again, I think it's going to help with that smearing issue. I'm actually trying to find a snake that made a little bit of a mess so I can show you how well it absorbs. Usually I could see a little bit of condensation there some. There we go, right there. You can see how well uh, this is actually adult male. Um, that and that dampness will be dry by the end of the day. Um, so I have to clean that up, but, uh, so you could find another one. It's just so much better. So much cleaner and it's a natural surface. I mean, like I said, this paper is just completely safe for your animal. It's all natural, just wood pulp paper. And it's a heavy grade paper too, so it's pretty thick on top of it. I even got my retic on it. All my females that I'm breeding. One of the projects I'll be working on this year is the highway. I'll be putting my highway with all my yellow belly females and my highway female. Um, I still, like I said, have some animals on the Reptile Prime. I'm just, as I, as it gets old and not usable anymore, I toss it and then they'll go on the paper. That's just a little bit of a water spill. But again, you can see how well it absorbs it and then dries out. And I have several size tubs too. I'm using Reptile Basics tubs. So I have like five sizes I have to cut to. The hatchling size is right there. There's actually two reptile basics has two size. They have these really long ones here. And then they have the uh, shorter ones here. As you can see, these size right here. So I just cut to fit. And it seems to work really well. For me anyways here's some condensation so this looks like a baby that went yep there we go and like again that wetness will be completely dry by the end of the day it'll be here's another one now this girl looks like he blew out her tub so you see you don't want to sit in it but again there's a shed and that shows you when they make a big mess so that will dry out by the end of the day but this is why I spot clean twice a day, especially the hatchlings. Um, the hatchlings uh, 
tend to make a bigger mess more often because they're eating more, you know, they're babies. I'm gonna put this guy in a different tub till I get her clean. Okay, yeah, so they make the biggest mess. And now this is, this is just water. Yeah, that's just a water spill. But again, I'll leave that just like that because this will dry by the end of the day and it holds that humidity really nice inside the tub. I've actually put gauges in there and it stays in between 60 and 75% the humidity inside the tub. And again, my humidity in the room right there, 54%. And it bounces from, you know, 45 to 55. But it's just so much cleaner and easier. Again, I'll be, most of my projects this year, I'll be working on the highway, GHI, fire, and some albino stuff. I also will be breeding the Kenyan sand boas. They didn't do much for me last year, but these females are really big now. Um, and they're pounding the food. So I'll start cooling those guys down. Also the milk snakes, I'll be breeding those. Hog nose, of course, I'll be breeding. Um, I got four females and three males I could pair for the hog nose. I got a couple last year. I bred out a couple. So that's my Lucifer. But big snakes are on it. Um, and it seems to be working out really well. I'm real happy with it. If you're interested in getting any of this paper, you know, just let me know. You can uh, email me at cmcreptiles at gmail.com. I just recently ordered all the vision tubs, every size of the vision tub. And I already have all the sizes of the reptile basic tubs. So I also got sea serpent tubs and animal plastic. But I could cut to any tub. You tell me if you're getting your tubs at Target, Walmart, just give me the code number. I'll go buy it and I'll cut it to make sure it fits perfect rather than you just give me dimensions. Just give me the tub number you're using. I'll go buy it. it. Works out better that way. This way you get that nice tight fit. And I know it's been working out really well for me, especially the hatchlings. I think the hatchlings is the best with this stuff. Um, and on these guys, the long ones, I'm not really psyched on these long type hatchling tubs. I wish they were a little bit shorter because sometimes they're too big for these hatchlings. Some get a little bit skittish on feeding. But what I'm going to do is cut the paper a l maybe, I don't know, eight inches longer so it'll wrap around. They'll have a fold they could crawl under to feel a little bit more secure, almost like a hide. And I can do that on these tubs too. This guy looks like he's already going into shed. Again, he's eating really good. And that's that uh, Super Leopard Lesser Cinnamon that I hit. Pounding the food already. Um, here's another one. I don't think that's super form, but it's got some big ringers on the tail. But that definitely is a Leopard Lesser Cinnamon. So I had some really cool stuff this year. And I still have another clutch in the incubator I'm waiting for. Right here, yeah, that was my kingpin, was the last one to drop a clutch to the Coral Glow Hidden Gene Woma. Seven eggs in there, about a week away from cutting, and real excited about working with the highway stuff, the GHI, um, fire, and the, even like the Kenyan Sandbow is all be breeding, and the hog nose. That's still a little bit, maybe a few months. I'm going to start cooling them down. They should probably have their last meal this week or next week. And I'll start cooling them down, getting them ready to trigger into breeding. So, all right, guys. Again, if you uh, want to order some of this paper, let me know. Like I said, I cut it for you to whatever size tubs you have. I got every size of Vision, every size of Reptile Basics. I got every size uh, for Sea Serpent. So, this way... We know it'll fit. If you want the extra trim on the front and back, I could do all that for you, but whatever you need. All right, guys, thanks, and I will keep you posted.